And you've traveled a lot and you have a story of fear as well in Nigeria. Tell us about this. Yeah, well, you know, a couple of things I want to talk about in terms of Nigeria, but as you know, there's a group called the Boko Haram. They're a militant mm -hmm. Islamic group. Uh, thousands and thousands of people have been killed, mostly in the northern part of the country. And we were in Lagos, a huge mega city, and it was just crowded with people, and it was just, uh, you know, a bit of chaos. Mm. And so we got stuck in traffic, and actually our driver was the one that caused the, you know, the big blockage there. And so we were sitting there, all of a sudden these young men started gathering around, mm. and they looked in the car, and they saw what they thought were Americans. Of course, we were very, uh, you know, quick to say, no, no, we're from Canada. Because sometimes that yeah. can be dangerous. Very dangerous, in some yeah. some parts of the world. So yeah, you do have to be careful with that. And they started pounding on the car, and mm. I thought, you know what, this might be my last day on earth, and in a few hours from now, my wife Arlene's gonna get a call that uh, I had been killed. So, you know, you do feel the fear, but then I also, of course, in those times, you really start to pray, yeah. and the Lord does give you, I believe, that peace that passes understanding. Mm. And uh, during that trip, we'd also been in the northeast part of the country, in Gombe State, and uh, went to a place, uh, Gombe City, uh, Deeper Life Bible Church. So we're there on a Sunday morning, and I was with the camera and, uh, you know, videoing and what was going on, because we had heard just before the trip to Nigeria, the 10 believers had been, or Christians had been killed uh, in an attack on a midweek prayer meeting and 10 people were, you know, were killed at that time. So we were able to go and visit them and we're going to show you a few photos of some of the people that we met during that trip. And this actually was the Bible that I found on the floor. So as I was going around with the video camera, I, I saw the Bible and I asked if I could take it with me back to Canada. Wow. And they agreed and said, yes, please show it to, you know, Christians and others to show what's happening in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yakuba was the guy that owned the Bible. He survived and were able to supply him with a King James Bible from mm -hmm. Canada. This is Naomi. Her husband was killed in that attack and now a single mother uh, raising this young little guy. And, uh, you know, it's just tragic. You know, I, you know, the Bible talks about we really need to care for the widows yes, and the orphans. Absolutely. And uh, Pastor Johnson Yarrow is on. Uh, on my uh, right, on the left on the screen here, and uh, his wife uh, was killed in that Deeper Life Bible oh. attack. And they were having a prayer meeting, Maggie, and talking about, you know, praying for Nigeria. Mm. Very, very tragic situation. And uh, this was in the church. There were bullet holes all over this Deeper Life Bible Church, which is a network of churches, and uh, blood on the floor. And, and again, that's where I found the Bible. And again, this is Naomi with her husband who had been killed in that attack. And you know, when you're in these places, um, you feel your, the fear yourself, but I know that I'm going to be leaving. Yes. And, and actually, as we were leaving Gombe, we heard about another attack that had taken place in, in, in Abuja, where we were heading to. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, these attacks continue. Uh, the Christians there and are, are living under fear. And, you know, one of the things that we, you know, try to encourage them is, you know, just continue to live your life for Christ. But it is very difficult. Yeah, and time and time again, we hear of attacks in Nigeria. Nigeria, as you said, Boko Haram is always targeting Christians. Mm -hmm. And as you said, you get to leave and get to bring back these stories and hopefully us as the church here in Canada we can remember Naomi and her little boy yeah. and so many people like Naomi who are standing firm on their faith and declaring that they believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord. They are not allowing fear to uh, to keep them down at, at, at all. And, you know, many people leave, and I totally understand that. Some end up in Canada, from the Middle East and mm. Africa. But there are many that are staying, and as you mentioned, we need to be praying for them that they will stand strong in their faith.